can't stop this warrior love. Special play for Miss Vonnie down in Jamaica celebrating her birthday. One of our internet lawyer listeners on 1360WKAT.com. But Liquid Lounge is focused on being the Blue Green Network. Essentially, it is a program that we're developing with environmentally oriented promoters. People who are producing radio, internet radio, websites, publications to talk about the International Year of the Reef, the greening of places like Haiti. Did you know that 98% of the tree cover is gone from the country of Haiti? Half of the island of Hispaniola is lushly forested. Half of it has nothing. Operation Green Leaves here in Miami, OGLHaiti.com, is interested in reforesting Haiti one tree at a time. We're going to talk about art, underwater art. Uh, there's a project off of South Beach that's being developed right now. Permission has been issued. It's going to be the most unusual artificial reef in the world because it will be the first that actually spells out a message. The message is going to be, save our reefs. And it's tied in to the International Year of the Reef, which is 2008. Beginning in January, governments in 40 different countries and several hundred different organizations have been focused on the water side, below the surface, because there's serious issues. July 7th through the 11th at the Broward County Convention Center, it's called the Coral Reef Symposium. The Coral Reef Symposium is focused on the water side. Three or thousand or more people are coming to Fort Lauderdale to spend a few days talking about the problems of the ocean. It's interesting because just offshore of Fort Lauderdale there's a, over one million automobile tires that were put down in the late 1980s as an idea for artificial reef development. It turns out 25 years later that it was really solid waste disposal. Rather than putting the million tires in a landfill, they were banded together with a steel cable. But nobody seemed to think that the steel cable might corrode. And now all those clusters of tires are rolling across what's left of the natural reef. So it's only appropriate that the Coral Reef Symposium is in Fort Lauderdale this year. But it's an educational message. Every island in the Caribbean is in jeopardy. All of the coral throughout the world is declining. Coral reefs are fringing protection for every island. They provide colorful habitat. Fish like them. Scuba divers and snorkelers like them. As they decline, the tourism product will decline. It's an issue that has to be taught to young people. We are overfishing. We are killing more than 100 million sharks a year. According to the Shark Research Institute, sharks.org, based in Princeton, New Jersey, 73% of those are for fins. They cut off their fins to make soup. It's a sad tradition that needs to be changed, and that can only be changed by education. This is Liquid Lounge. I'm Ken English, and I encourage you to get involved with the Blue Green Network. If you check out CaribbeanRhythms.com, there's a link that says join the Blue Green Network. At the other end of it is a little puzzle. It's a puzzle of a piece of art by Jacques Jacqueline Leblanc, who lives in Hollywood. It's the Octopus Garden. It's essentially a symbol of the artificial reef program, and it becomes a jigsaw puzzle online. So check it out, CaribbeanRhythms.com. I'm Ken English for Liquid Lounge. Until next week, Eddie, it's back to you. Thank you, Ken. You enjoy the rest of the holiday weekend, and we catch up with you next week. Hey, this is Randy Edwards, uh, right here on 1360 WKAT.